All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. Anna, can you tell me where? Oh, babe, I'm, I'm so sorry. I forgot to mention that you were. Hey, bro. Fine, <laughs> but babe, how mm. on earth didn't you tell me you had a sister all those years? You didn't. Ah, uh, yeah, sister. Yes, I, I. Thanks mean to keep that information away from you. Just that she's never been close to anyone yeah. before at home. Yeah. Um, Tanya, yes. Good to see you, bro. It's been a while. Yeah, good to see you too. Are you crazy? What? What exactly are you doing shutting up in the house? That's what I should have done a long, long time ago. Shh. Bring up your voice and your wife is upstairs. I should not hear you. Your wife? Yes. No, you have a wife. Eh? I am going to explain everything to you. Tanya, but what I want you to do for me right now, or what I want you to do for me right now, is you leave this house tomorrow. I promise to come to see you. Leave? Yes. To where? Anywhere. <laughs> With this pregnancy. Wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> What is your stupid and slutty self still doing in my house? You should be ashamed of yourself. You are ashamed to womanhood. I said, don't talk. You know what? I don't even have time to be bantering once with this one. You know, argue with your husband. Hey, 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 come, come, come back here. Not in my house. Put a leash on your dog. Put a leash on her. Else. Or else what? I don't even have time to be bantering once with this frustrated, barren woman. Tanya. Oh, please. If not your lying tongue, I wouldn't be here. Bathroom was with her in the first place. You know what? Both of you should be happy. I came to lift barrenness out of this house. Nonsense. Oh my god, you know. I don't know if this is like a new trend. You know, people bringing in like exes and you know side chicks to the house either to be a nanny or to be a house help or as cousins it seems like there's a quite a few of these kind of movies coming out these days i don't even know what goes on in these people's heads you know it's crazy i'm gonna make an open appeal if you're a side chick what are you doing packing into a married man's house now there's this notion that once you are pregnant for somebody technically he's supposed to take care of you now please i want to hear people's opinion on this in the comment section yes you're pregnant and he should be around for his kid but moving into a man's house just because you're pregnant and then it's somebody that's married i, I don't know where this trend has started popping up from and it's kind of like normal these days with many movies where you know the side chick gets pregnant and you know bam she packs her bags and you know next thing she's inside the man's house demanding respect and all that well guys maybe we should start from you guys you know if you're married respect your marriage let's start from there respect your marriage and you know don't don't be sleeping around in this case it seems like it wasn't his ex it's actually a relationship that he started while he was already married definitely it seems like the child is a blessing to him because you know the wife can have a child but the truth is that he was a cheat i'm not sure how to address this matter most of the times it's not your fault i get it you know it, it, yes people would also even argue that it doesn't even matter what you do for your man if he wants to cheat he will cheat sometimes it's also wives that push these husbands out of the house for one reason or another the point i'm trying to make here is you know wives take care of your household some of the times you guys are the reason why these men go out sometimes some i'm not saying that this is always the case sometimes you know because there are good men out there there are a lot of good men out there that being said you still need to take care of him as a good man you still need to take care of him because even an elastic can break if you keep pulling at it pugging turning twisting sooner or later it will break so treat your husband's right if you're in a position to do better do better and then husbands please <laughs> leave all these side chicks alone I, you know 
when you decided to tell your wife I do, I, I thought that you already have factored everything and decided that this is the, the woman for you. So you know, respect your marriage and you know leave these side chicks alone. Leave them alone, Bikun, uh, so that uh, you, your wife and you, you guys will enjoy your marriage. That's all I have to say on this one, guys. Let's use these experiences, uh, you know, to structure our own lives. If you love this kind of content, please like share subscribe follow so you continue getting uh, content like this my name is cj and i'm here to deliver sense